Hey there everybody! In our last video, the last Craft With Me video, I did a magazine harvest and we came up with some awesome pages to use in um, the creative journals that I've been making for the Etsy store. Mentioning the Etsy store, you guys, if you just go to the Etsy store and visit, you know, you can also like things over at the Etsy store. It really, really helps me. We are in the crafty RD community are struggling with AI as it has pushed actual human creators uh, to the back of the pack, so to speak. It's a real thing, <laughs> and it's disconcerting, and it's uh, troubling, especially for those of us who who are full-time crafters or part-time crafters like me. I have uh, another job as well. But um, do you go over to my Etsy store? You can look around. You can like things. And, you know, you can purchase something or you can just like the store. Uh, that really does help. And in, in, in sharing, uh, sharing the store with your friends and family, that really does help as well. So we made some pages for books and I'll be putting those together a little bit later on today. Through our magazine harvest, we also got a nice stack of words and images that I'm going to put in my uh, mixed media kits that go into the paper packs that I have been selling at the Etsy store. Thank you guys so much for supporting that project. That That is really awesome. And thank you to uh, Cheryl and Cheryl and Leanne and to all of you who who send me things uh, when you de-stash. It's just awesome, awesome. We are going to expand on a couple ideas I mentioned in the last craft with me. We are going to make some cards out of painty paper strips, but not painted. We're going to use strips from magazines and kind of rearrange them and make different designs with them on some just regular uh, four... Yep, four by six index cards. Or you can use the like three by five index cards. Or you can use some cardstock. Or you can just use a piece of paper. I encourage you to just pick something up, slap something together, and get on with it. I think a lot of times, and I'm really super guilty of this as well, we just don't do anything. By golly, we're just going to sit and, you know, we're going to watch TV or something. And it's like, mm, you know, you got to fire those creative neurons in your brain. You got to get that energy going. And this is a great project to just get that energy flowing and moving um, in your body and through your fingertips and get your mind engaged again. So we're going to do some painty paper cards as well, but we aren't going to paint as well as uh, just make some really pretty flowers from magazine pages as well. I have some magazines here, but I think the magazine that I'm going to use is probably this one. Uh, you'll say, gosh, Tammy, it's a wee dark in there. And yeah, it is because this is a shiny magazine. We are going to um, to just kind of have to cope with the <laughs> with the non glare version of a video. Let's do that. Let's do a non glare version. The first thing that we're going to do is put together some of these postcards. And like I said, this was on the back of a cardstock a uh, piece of cardstock. These are four by six index cards. So let's just get started. What I'm looking for is vibrant. Vibrant colors. I'm looking for a variety of color. So we're just going to flip through here right quick. Oh my gosh, this is like perfect because it is... Uh, yeah, man, that's Tuscany. I saw Tuscany from a train and it was fascinating when I was in Italy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this image and basically we are just going to diffuse the image. It's really, really, really fun <laughs> to do this because you take something like this and you just make it into something totally different. I love things like this because they're simple, they're easy, and the effect that you can achieve is just really super stellar. I'm going to get a drink of tea for a minute. What are you drinking today? I hope it's tea or coffee. Mm. 
or if it's late in the evening, a glass of wine. That's always nice. We're going to create our painty paper strips. Paper usually tears a certain way. You know, you can tear it like this, or you can tear it like this. You may discover that there is a, um, there is a, um, I don't know, I don't know the word. There is a, um, I don't know what the word is. Um, it's either going to tear easier this way, or it's going to tear easier this way. And we never really know uh, which one. It, this one seems to be able to tear both ways. So let's just tear this. This might be enough to make a couple of our painty paper cards. If you don't know the term painty paper, that is a Shannon Green term. And I'll leave a link to Shannon's uh, YouTube site in the description box below. I love her. She's helped me so much. <laughs> when I was first starting my YouTube channel... Uh, and that's been years and years ago. She was, she's, she's funny. She's engaging. She's silly. She's, um, beautiful. She's charming. She's honest. She's down to earth. I just, I just love her, love her, love her. She's just the best. All right. So we're going to do something like this and it's really hard to do. So pay attention. <laughs> no, um, uh, we're just going to take a glue stick and kind of glue this down. I'm just going to pull that off and I think what I'm going to do is just start another card right here. So we just got two, two projects going at once. You can also, when you're doing something like this, this is really fun. You can flip the image over and see what's on the back. And then it's like, hmm, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm going to keep this image or I think I'm going to do that image or whatever. Okay. So this is the image that we're diffusing, but this is on the back. And I almost think that the thing on the back is a wee more interesting whoops than the thing on the front i think the thing on the back is almost looks like venice so we'll do that again you know kind of it's fun to to just look at it from a different angle from a different view from a different perspective isn't that just life right look at it from a different perspective uh you guys if you're watching this i really really appreciate it if you've gotten this far i really 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 appreciate it um please remember <laughs> to like and comment on the video i have set up thanks so if you're so inclined you can click the thanks and um you can send me a few bucks and that is always extraordinarily helpful and I really really appreciate it also if you comment and I didn't know this until Diane Anton mentioned it if your comments are over uh, four words oh five words then uh, they do count for more than if you just do a thumbs up or say hey cool or something like that which I really I mean that's kind of that's kind of neat it encourages you to uh, engage with the video a little more. So we've done a couple of these, you know, as we're kind of sitting here yammering on about this and that. And you can see that this technique is super easy. Be a really fun thing to do with the, the kitties, you know, have them tear up some paper. Great project for, um, if you have spare magazines, did you guys know that my, my library uh, recycles magazines and they actually keep boxes at the library for recycling 
and you can call and you can say, hey, do you guys have any magazine boxes that I could come pick up before they hit the recycling? And nine times out of ten, they do. It's a really fun, fun, free, <laughs> fun and free art supplies. That's really nice. I'm just going to take a little piece of cardstock here. Gonna put this is Apple Barrel Matte White Acrylic Craft Paint Quick Drawing Easy Cleanup. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab a grab my card over here because that's the best way to swipe some paint on. Pick up some paint. You can do any color, but I like to use white. So just gonna and I did put that on rather thickly because there's already white on the card. But I left white on the card for a very specific reason. I'm gonna stand up a minute, make sure you guys can see this. I probably need to get in a little closer. Sorry about that. Oops. Close your eyes. Okay. All right. So we swipe some paint onto our cards. I'm just going to let it sit for just a minute. And then I'm going to swipe that paint off. At this point, uh, you can use the edge of your card and kind of pick it apart. Just be careful because you don't want to you don't want to rip what you have going on here it's 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 also not that precious so <laughs> don't worry if you rip it because I mean it's just paper right don't worry and using the edge of the card really makes some funky Cool mark making going on. We're going to set these aside and let them dry. And then we'll come back and add some doodling and finish those up. The next thing that we want to do with our magazine, again, is find some images. Next thing we're going to do is make some of these really fun flowers. And they're going to be kind of inspirational flowers. You'll see what we're going to do. So again, we're just kind of looking for a rather kind of large-ish, ooh, this will be perfect right here, kind of large-ish. Picture right here. We're going to fold this way, and we're going to fold this way, and then we're going to flip this up like this. And you know, this is what you did in school, right? You had little projects like this, and then we're going to fold that out. See? It makes a really sweet, cool flower. All right, let's do another one. And this time, let's do something that is just a wee smaller. I'm also kind of scanning here for inspirational words. I will want to add those to our flowers Up and fold the corner in. And this is going to be a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. 
I want to get one that's even smaller. Probably a totally different color. I'd really kind of like to have maybe some vibrant red. I'll have to see what we can find. That might work. Now this one's going to be smaller. This is a great like winter project if you're looking for things like that. So we're just going to um, try to get the glare away. It's really almost impossible. Unfold it. Unfold it one more time. That one is super tiny. And there we go. You can do a lot with it at this point. You can put a button here. Uh, you can use a brad and just kind of secure all these down. I like to um, I like to glue them, and then I like to put an inspirational word somewhere on this piece. You don't want to stick everything down too tight because you know you do want it to to have that little flower flow to it. You know what I'm talking about? See it kind of gives it a 3D effect. All right, now we got to decide what we're going to put here. You can use some Chit Chat by Tim Holtz. You can use, um, you know, whatever sort of uh, word sheet you have. I get really distracted <laughs> with this magazine. Because I would love to go to the Yorkshire Dales. I would love to go to the Cotswolds. I would love to go to Wales. I like the word path. So let's just use that. You know, if you wanted to take this a step further, you could, um, I love that, you could put a, um, a metal tape on the back and like make these for your fridge or make them for your inspiration board or for your, um, for your dream board, whatever your, you know, whatever your motivation is. You can put it on the front of a book. I just did. A really fun design on a, on a little journal. This is this is not for sale, but this was just one of those journals that you pick up at, at Dollar Tree that somebody gave me. So I just transformed the the whole look of the book. And uh, you know, you could add something like that to a book or a piece of art or mixed media that you have going on. I really do love to use what I have transform what I have on hand and that is exactly the way that this book came together I just transformed what I have on hand this is an image uh, this you know you wouldn't sell something like this but you would use it um, for your own needs which in 2024 man I'm, I'm getting quite the collection of of altered recycled repurposed reduce re reuse recycle kind of books over here so there we go that is a great little project to do with um a great little project to do with magazines now let's go back to our painty paper subject matter that we've got here we can do a couple of things you know you could take something like this and put what you just created on it which is that i mean that looks super super cool uh this would make a sweet sweet 
sweet little addition to Happy Mail. And it helps you use up your magazines and helps you flex your creative brain as well. So we might, uh, we might do that. I want to, I'm judging the, um, the dryness of these items to make sure that I can maybe do some doodles over them. So a couple ideas. We can do it like this uh, with things that we just made. Or we can kind of get out some doodly things and doodle us up. A little uh, mixed media piece and I think that's probably what I'm gonna try out I've got a selection of pens here I've got some uh, Posca no, these aren't Posca these are uh, Tombow water-based markers which I really really love the thing here y'all is you got to be a wee careful of the pens that you use be um, until this is totally and perfectly dry you don't want to don't want to like ruin ruin your your pens or anything like that all right I think I'm good to go with these I want to just do some basic doodling the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to use a calligraphy marker this is a double header Itoya. It has that fat end on one side and it has a rather skinny end on this side. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of go in and maybe do a wee frame around this. This does not need to be straight. It works a whole lot better if it's not straight. I can't do straight anyway. So this works out really, really well. All right, I think we're just going to add some stars because that's really fun to do. And remember, we just, my, my table is creaking. All right. Um... Then I think what we'll do is bring this in a little more, like this, and for this one, I drew way outside the lawn here, but no big deal. You can even it up by just doing the same thing on that side. Now that I've done that, then I'm seeing that. I might want to do this as well. There we go. Something like that. Um, now for that one, I am going to just add some circles. I have been learning to watercolor with Diane Anton. I'll leave her linked in the description box below. And she is also a master doodler, mark maker. She has a, a great uh, definition for mark making and doodling. She says doodling is like more intuitive and mark making is like really more specific. I like intuitive art. I like just kind of, you know, kind of slapping things down. Okay, we've got a nice frame going on here. We've got a great background. I'm thinking that, um, you know, I mean, we might just use this. I think that that made a smashing mixed media piece. Don't you? Look at that. That looks really super cool. Let's go ahead and tuck that down. Again, don't, don't stick it down too, too, you know, too tightly because it's really fun to look at. Man, that's colorful and fun, easy, simple. Got my brain out of a rut. Let's do another one. Remember, these were our painty papers. We just put a little bit of white paint over it. Let's do some doodling. Um, I think this is a really great pen. Uh, like I said, it's, it's a double header. It has worked 
really well for a while. I think with this one, we'll just do a wonky frame like that. Then we'll just add some circles here and there. You can see how fun it was to create that background. I would also recommend guys that you, you know, um, not use your fanciest greatest one most wonderful pens because this is, this, this will kind of suck, <laughs> suck the life out of your pen because there's something about going over the paint as well as the, um, the magazine images that you have adhered here that kind of sucks the life out of, out of, um, uh, a marker so just you know just be cautious of that I really want to use my Tombow I'm almost as scared to use my Tombow but I'm gonna do it anyway and just kind of highlight what we have going on here just like that and then I'm gonna turn it this way and I'm gonna add add a word and I think my word which is a word that I use often is going to be lucky L U C K Y that was really 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 hard to write on there um, I'm not happy with that so let's figure out what we're going to do with it at this point I think we can just go ahead and add something. This is like um, saving. <laughs> You're trying to save what you just did. Lucky was a great intuitive um, sort of idea. It didn't quite work. Hey, you know what? I could just use a word. Why don't I do that? Oh, that's a lot smarter. Country walks, medieval towns, Adriatic coast, medieval France, prehistoric caves, hiking in Sicily. I'm looking for a word. Um, we've got this stack of words over here. Oh, look. Okay. Ultimate. We'll use that. So, you know, we saved it. We didn't beat ourselves up about it. We just calmly fixed it. Most things, most things are fixable. All right, let's see if we can get a nice... There we go. That turned out really well. I should have brought that line over a little more, but I'm not going to be fussed about that. I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty, and I'm going to go downstairs and grab a cup of coffee and let my throat rest. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. We created a couple of mixed media pieces by using painted, painty paper that we did not paint. Um... <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. Please, please visit the Etsy store just to visit, just to say hello. Sorry about the shaky. Uh, if you if you got the shakies, this is a great project for it because you really don't need to be um, you don't need to be steady with it at all. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Talk to you soon. Be good. Bye.